Yes, I don't say this often, but she's a lady with a hole I'd like to be in. <laughs> <laughs> the lead singer of Hole, Courtney Love! <laughs> I know, I was reading, um... Is that a new look for you? No, I have to use these to read the mirror, because it's about all I read. <laughs> Can you see me properly? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to How many fingers have I got up? Um, you have, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wasn't being rude! No, I, I wasn't being rude either. <laughs> this is my natural state of yeah. ha handness. <laughs> I just do this. Would you like a nice drink? I can't. Why not? I uh, don't drink anymore. I would love a nice drink. Oh, no, you don't. Like I can't drink. have one. Oh, you're not a... You're like an alcoholic. Uh, no, I was never an alcoholic, but I was a big drug addict. Oh. It's a really huge secret. Don't tell anyone, because it'll know. ruin my image. <laughs> I didn't know this about you. I suppose I better not tempt you. We'll be all shooting up no, by the end of the night. <laughs> Now, you spoke at the Oxford Union, didn't you, about your drugs. When was the last time you took drugs? Uh, it's pretty much every interview. <laughs> every interview? Yeah. Drugs, drugs, more drugs, peanuts, drugs. <laughs> Sex, drugs. Sex, drugs. Sex, drugs. God, it's... Hair extensions, drugs. How, our lives are so similar. Are they? <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Want to go in the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do some drugs. Drugs. Because, you know what, I like a nice glass of red. You know, my drug is alcohol. I love a nice glass of red. But, I mean, when it comes to drugs, what's your one that goes, oh, you know, do you ever go Opiates. one? Opiates. Opiates. Yes. So, you know... What the, about, it, like, heroin? It, well, heroin's so ghetto over here, you know? Like, oh, I know. Uh, tell me about it. Well, when I, I lived, <laughs> when I lived in Liverpool, which I did when I was 14 and 15, you know, um, I lived in, in Liverpool 8, mate, like, talk stiff, like, hardcore. Oh, my God. In a lovely squat. That. And I... I, I, I oh. <laughs> lovely squat? <laughs> I lived in a lovely squat in Hackney as well. <laughs> the rats were so polite. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Cup of tea. <laughs> well, you make it better than I do. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, you know, I remember I went back to Liverpool and uh, I'd been in L.A. and it was de-rigor. It was de-rigor to do heroin in L.A. It was so cool. Here... I went back to Liverpool, yeah. I, I did some, some, whatever, no one would talk. They sent me to Coventry. Really? <laughs> God, heroin and then Coventry. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, then? That's like it's a It's Givenchy, it looks a bit like a diaper. It's, nice. it's good, right? It's a good Givenchy, you know, sort of, mm, piece. You love one it? Do you like that? <laughs> Here's my trick. I'll tell you my old trick. I had this rock and roll trick that I would do. I'd be in the worst place, Cleveland or Cologne, Germany or something, Munich or something. And what I would do is call, I wanted drugs, because I used to do drugs. Yeah. I don't do them anymore. And I would call up a hooker agency and I would ask for the ugliest hooker. And because the ugliest hooker would know and they would think I was a lesbian and come with like all sorts of things. I mean, no, no, put it down. I just want to know where the drugs are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that was my trick. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm telling you this. <laughs> Jesus. It's like therapy. <laughs> now, you seem like a woman who can get laughed into bed. <laughs> you know, I'm, I've been looking at some of the men that you've had relationships with, and they're all British comedians. Oh, uh, the gifts that keeps on giving. <laughs> oh, come on. What's wrong with British funny men? You're saying There's we're not There's nothing sexy? wrong with British funny One of them was the stupidest thing I ever did. And because of him, I, I'd never seen Alan Partridge. So, no. No, not at that time. I hadn't seen it. So, Steve Coogan. Coogan. Yeah, Steve the Coogan. Coog. Yeah. We call the, him the Coog. The Coog, yeah. The Coog. So, the Coog um, I apparently had something about me long before I met him. And, um, but I'd only seen him in 24 hour party people. And I used to know Tony Wilson. So I think I had a little daddy crush thing that yeah. he had played Tony Wilson. But he was very, very well spoken, very nice. Didn't know he was a super freak. No. <laughs> Didn't know that. Did he go, aha? And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many times a day my band do back of the net to me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
no. Uh, so what happened then? So he's a super freak. So he's a super freak, as it turns out. But you know, it was, it was, a, it was the last stand of me doing drugs. And it was like two, three weeks. And at one point, Billy Bob Thornton comes to the pool while I'm in the middle of this like crazy, weird three weeks with him. And he pulls my hair and he's like, she and he just stop. I, I can't explain. That's private. But yes. he, he talked into my ear and he said, he said, get out of whatever you're in, basically, yes, yes. is what he said. I thought it was a harmless wah thing, you know, that was now over. And um, then I called my friend. And these tabloids are kind of ruthless. Your tabloids are pretty Oh, bad. I know. I can imagine. And they taped the call with my friend. And, published, and they knew I didn't have a lawyer. And they published it. The whole oh, gory, dear. all of it. Oh. And I've been embarrassed before, but that was like a 10. Yeah. So then I, I, was, I had to go to rehab. And I was walking around. I thought I'd ruined his career. I didn't know he'd had this whole history. I hadn't read mm -hmm. everything. So I was walking around rehab going, God, I've ruined a man's career. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. Without knowing, I'd actually made him really cool. Yeah. Y'all <laughs> got But I'll tell you the thing, when I, start, when I did watch Alan Partridge afterwards, I thought it was brilliant. I thought oh, it was brilliant, the writing was brilliant, and I thought, well, I was justifying in my head, the fact that he could be so insanely repulsive is kind of sexy, right? <laughs> right, Courtney, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you know, je ne regret ni Yeah. Ish. Ish. Um, <laughs> so, um, but... I, I did, I was a fan, and I decided, my friend writes for Rolling Stone, and I said, you need to do an article on, on Britcom. And uh, my fr a friend of mine had been trying to get me to go to dinner with Russell Brand for a long time, and I'm like, he's not ready for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. But I had dinner then with Russell. Did one thing lead to another with Russell? No, but the thing with Russell, he's too musky for me. Musky? Musky. What does musky mean? There's nothing musky about him. And, and he did this line with me. We were talking like this, yeah? yeah. So you, you, you sort of talk to me and I'll, yeah. I'll be Russell. Hi, Courtney. You know, Alan, <laughs> I've had a lot of conversations, but not one of them has ended in an orgasm. Can we go in your room? No! Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed, but then I feel a little bit dirty. <laughs> I'll be... Oh, what was the other one? I'll be the, I'll be the moon, you be the sun, and we'll have an eclipse. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh that's disgusting. It's just... Uh, but it worked, it worked, it worked. It and now worked? He's, he's not on me, um, but he's quite smitten, you know. He's very reformed. Yeah, well, I can With imagine. Katy Perry. Well, and she's a sassy gal. I've oh, her a long she's time. been on our show. She, yeah, she's. Uh, she Did you like up, her? Yeah, oh, she's great. She's got it all up at top. Yeah, she's brilliant. Is she smarter than me? <laughs> she's no, no one could be smarter than you. Yeah, but she's quicker, isn't she? Because she didn't do the drugs. <laughs> yeah, maybe it has maybe slowed you down a little bit. Now, <laughs> <laughs> not too much. It's, huh? no. Well, in a good way. What? No. <laughs> it's uh, been an absolute... Do you have a light? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love oh, you. Thank you so too. much for Thanks coming for on. Me. Thank you, been brilliant. Thank you. Put that in hold reforming, yeah? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's great. Totally love, everyone. After the break, I'll be joined by Steve Jones and Rihanna. See you in part two.